Okay, here's another little fun project I did up here at this other location. Um, I've got enough parts up here to, when I'm up here, uh, build something. So I put together a little uh, capacitor pulse motor that uh, it's using that same complementary transistor circuit that I've been using. Basically, dad have circuit uh, modified with a backup CPU and then some of my stuff thrown in here. It's a complementary uh, transistor, a PNP and an NPN. And uh, Dad have I think, is the first one that was able to use that circuit to drive a pulse motor. Anyway, this is just something I, I did up here uh, today. Uh, today is the 6th of October. And um, it's just something kind of fun. I was playing around with the structures on, on this particular pulse motor, seeing what I could build up here, put together using that little driver unit. And... Um, one of the reasons for this video was you have to start it by blowing on it. You can't flick it. It's too sensitive, so you blow on it with a straw. But I found out you can use this compressed air and start it up real quick. Yeah, I had a can of this up here to blow dust off stuff, so let me show you how that works. Stop it here. Um, all it is is it's a jar lid with uh, magnets on it, uh, and it's a, a monopole, uh, John Bedini's uh, famous monopole type design. A single filer winding coil with this uh, NPN, uh, PNP complementary transistor circuit. Um, and all you do is you just take, you can use the straw like this and just blow on it to get it to go, but you have to spin it up fast enough to generate a current to trigger this transistor circuit. If you just flick it or something, it won't go, so you have to blow on it pretty hard. But this stuff here, this compressed air, watch this. And that's all you got to do. And she's up and running. And uh, I'm just uh, using a 9-volt battery to put energy into this, and I'll show you. Just uh, tap it a little bit here, and Put more energy into the supercapacitor, and you probably hear it revving up. Pretty cool. Like I say, it's just something I uh, I did here at the house that uh, I had stuff here that I could use to build this with, so I put it together. It's fun. Basically, it's a tongue depressor with a toothpick <laughs> glued on there. And then a Phillips head a brass screw. And then at the bottom, I, I made a bearing using a pencil lead and crazy glue. You dimple the bottom stick and you put a, a pencil in there with crazy glue and make like a graphite bearing out of it. So it works pretty darn good. Let me show you again how this works here. It's real delicate. You can disturb it if you're not careful. But uh, you just take this uh, compressed air here and you blow on it. And that's all it takes to get it going. I wish I had discovered that years ago. <laughs> it saved a lot of time. Anyway, just something I've been doing up here. Thanks for watching.